we're a predominantly heavy shake roof area in Portland. All these new developments, and when I mean new developments, I mean anywhere from the 20 to 25 year old homes, they all had shake roofs put on their house. And a lot of those roofs are now done. They need to be replaced. I'm starting to hear people ask me about alternative roofs that are not wood, but that are not composition either because they don't want their roof to look like their neighbor's roof. They really want wood, but right now wood is really expensive. It's just not as available as it used to be in the past. But people here in Oregon, they still really want to see that wood look on their house. They want that texture. So there are a couple different alternatives that you can use. Um, it's called synthetic shake. There's a couple versions of it out there. There are some versions we will not recommend um, because we have seen them fail in the past. I mean, we have a unique perspective on the market. We've been maintaining all these roofs in Portland, around 11,000 of them for the last 35 years. So we have seen what fails and what does not fail. And we have found a couple new synthetic roofs out there that's been around for about 20 to 25 years that give you that shake look and that shake feel. The biggest benefit is you don't have to maintain it. There is zero moss treatment for either one of these two types of material. You still have to blow your roof off from the debris. You have to keep the dust off, stuff like that, but that's normal. You'll never escape that no matter what roof you buy. But it is going to last a true, they call it a true 50 year roof, which means it will go the full length of its time at 50 years. And so there's some big benefits to it. Does it cost more than an asphalt roof? Yes, it is going to cost more but you are going to have lower maintenance. It's gonna be a lower cost per day roof. It does cost a little bit less than an actual shake roof. The nice thing about this shake look is it's going to give your house that unique look that you're looking for. It's not gonna look like your neighbors. And the cool thing about this fake shake or synthetic shake, if you wanna call it, is you can pick colors. So you can color coordinate your shake roof with the paint on your house. There is one difference between the ventilation on an asphalt versus a synthetic. The synthetic shake will not get as hot as an asphalt roof. So one of the things that you wanna think about when you're putting your roof on your home, especially if you live in a two-story home, is think back to the hottest day that you've had in your house. And if you have air conditioning in your house, more than likely it's super cold downstairs and it's boiling hot upstairs, and you have a shake roof currently. When you take that shake off and you put down an asphalt, you are going to raise the temperature of your upstairs, even with the best ventilation in the world. With synthetic shake, you are going to raise just a little bit, but not near the amount as you would with an asphalt. So you do have to vent them 100% like any other roof. You cannot skip on that. Synthetic shake is a great way to go. It gives you a unique look for your house. It's going to give you longevity. So if you plan on staying in that house for a long time, this is a roof that's going to serve you and your family at the lowest cost per day of any roof out there.